Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back. This is another episode of my Minecraft playthrough. Unfortunately, it's still only 1.2.3 at the minute. 1.2.5 is soon coming. However, it isn't yet. Minecraft Forge has been updated to 1.2.5 as has obviously all the mod loader stuff plus the death, ch death chests, the sign tags, uh, all the stuff that I get from Risugami. Um, that is all updated to 1.2.5 and has been for a long time. Um, it's been waiting on Forge. Forge has recently been updated to 1.2.5. Now the modders are getting in there. I believe the first one was Equivalent Exchange 2. That has been upgraded to 1.2.5. I've got all the files that I need in a separate folder ready and waiting to go on to 1.2.5. I'm just waiting for Forestry. I'm waiting for Thorncraft 2. And I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Millionaire. Like I said, if I take it out, I've got room to put another mod in. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I may get Railcraft on top of Steve's carts as well because I was watching a little spotlight on Railcraft not so long back and what you can do with them is absolutely amazing um, and it would be quite useful but I don't know, it all depends on what I feel like at the time uh, I'll play about with it maybe on single player a little bit first and then see how it works and uh, whether or not I like it and then I'll go with it but we'll see, we'll see what happens anyway guys this episode, as you all know, I had some discoveries. Well, I had some theories that I was waiting to get discovered. Good news is, I have discovered them all. I've got every single one. And uh, the goggles are revealing. As you remember being that, as a shaped crafting item. That will help me immensely do something, well, different. Um, so, using that shaped crafting, I have gone ahead and, you know, created the items that I needed to do. I already had one thermometer, um, but I needed another one, so I created that, and I've got my leather out of the chest, and I've got gold ingot. So I'm going to go ahead and get these goggles of revealing. And that's not the right way, Chris, what are you doing? So there they are, the goggles of revealing. And a uh, simple way to do this is to put them on your face. That's it. I look like John Lennon. John Lennon, what man about? I look like Elton John, that's the one. From the, the 1960s, 70s, wherever he came from. So, yeah. These do something very special. The reason why I've created so many ladders, and I still need to create some more, and I still need some bloody wood. Uh, here's mine. The reason why I've created so many ladders is because I need to climb down something. Got any wood in here? Yes, I have. Good. My god, I've got quite a bit of wood from that. See how useful that table is? It still doesn't like shift click on there, I don't know why. Bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, what can you do? Right, let's get these. Oh god! Let's get these changed into sticks, shall we? It takes like forever. I don't know what I've done to it. Must have messed it up somewhere. Right, this will definitely be enough ladders now. I don't need to get any more. I've got way too many now. Yeah. Oh well, I'm sure they'll come in useful at some stage. So I can shift click them in there, but I just can't shift click them anywhere else. I wonder what I've messed around here. I can't remember messing all around here. Never mind. Never mind. I was having a look at how to make one of these arcane focuses as well for what I want to do. Um, I've forgotten already. Oh no, I haven't. Yes, I have. I'm just going to double check something really. Oh. The thing is, when you mess around, when you go into options, when you go to here or something like that, when you come back in, you know, you come back out and your chest stays open. It's a bug. Uh, I don't know how you would fix it. I did go out and get some more crystals as well, like I said I was going to do. There's no base crystals there. 
I remember rightly, it wouldn't be a bad idea actually to, uh, where is it there? There's something else that you can do with the Philosopher's Stone that really is quite useful. Uh, you press C with it and it turns into a crafting table. Instead of me running around like a headless chicken all the time. There we are. An arcane focus, range medium, focus narrow. That's just a normal one as well. I also made the discoveries of getting um, different arcane focuses. Get an arcane focus and an aqueous crystal makes a water arcane, <coughs> arcane focus. So let's try that just now, because I think I've got a few aqueous ones. Yes, I have. So just for the fun of it, let's make a... Oh, I've got to put your crystals there. I know. So a range of long and a focus of medium. Actually, that's quite decent. I'm going to be using that a little bit later on. I don't know if it's going to be this episode or the next, but I shall be doing something with that. Let's put that uh, discovery back. I also want to make one of them, Thormic Crystallizers. Wow, that is an expensive piece of kit. One of each type of crystal. I don't know if it was tainted ones though. Five, six, five, just a second. Fiery, aqueous, vis, vaporous, earthen. Right. Two gold, a diamond, and an iron. Have I got any diamond left? Of course I have. Two gold, I'm running low on gold. Sort that out soon. And an iron. Eight iron makes one gold as well, by the way. In case you were wondering, it's a shaped crafted item. And I've no idea which way around it is. Uh, right, hang on a sec. Right, earth, vaporous, aqueous, fiery. Yeah, earth, vaporous. Earth, vaporous, right, the fire is there, the beast is there, the diamond's there, the two gold are there, and the iron is there, makes a thermic crystallizer. We'll pop outside and place that. I think it has to be connected up, but we'll soon find out. And I've forgotten my beast conduits because I'm a clown. Jerry. Hey! Jerry's dreaming. My dog, that is. Uh, beast conduits, where are you? There you are. Four should be more than enough. What time is it, by the way? Four o'clock. Getting quite late. I wasn't expecting to do this actually at the beginning of the episode. I was expecting to go out straight away, but uh, it, it uh, never materializes like that apparently when uh, I get involved. There we are, thermic crystallizer. Now I've no idea how this works. I really don't know how this works. There's a bar here with progress. It's doing something. I know that obviously. Oh my god, let's turn that off. I know that obviously you've got to have a depleted crystal in the middle. And that's how the crystallizer works. It turns into a crystal. I don't know what any of these bits are for. I'm just going to put all of these in here anyway and see what happens. I don't know if it uses Vs itself. It's got little holes on the side, so I would think so. Is it using these? It should do, surely. Yeah, it's using a tiny amount of these. And it is getting dark. I want to see what goes on here. Earth and crystal. See, it makes new crystals. So that's the reason for your depleted crystals. Just something for you there. I don't know what else it does. Probably does something else, but... Uh, I don't know what it is. Right, I've got that on me. What I need to do is take four of each type of crystal. Uh, 
and hope to God I don't get caught. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll do. Got my diamond sword on me anyway. I'm only going around the corner. Well, practically anyway. Just jump over here, down here, to the obelisk. And now I've got the uh, goggles of revealing on. There is something that will happen to the obelisks that is not there for uh, normal eyes to see. Where's all the monsters gone? Not that I'm going to be moaning about it, to be quite honest, because uh, I'd like just to leisurely jog out. Oh, God. Right where I didn't want them to be. What's that there? It's like a hole. It's a little curve, look. Just a little one, but it is a curve nonetheless. Right, let's see if I can get to this obelisk without getting sniped. Oh no. Okay, I believe we're alright now. And you see there's little symbols on the floor now. And you only get these through the goggles of revealing. And uh, the symbols obviously relate to the crystals. So let's get that out of the way. And get these on my hotbar. I believe that that one is a tainted crystal. That one is an aqueous. That one is a fiery. And that one looks like a normal beast. And there we have it. A nice little sound effect there. And a massive hole. Which of course, I have to go down. It's going to be quite hard to do it this way around though, isn't it? Right, um, there's going to be problems here. Hmm. I think some rubber boots might be in order. Let's get on first. Let's go back home. It is open, and I will get down to the centre of there. But it's very difficult placing a ladder underneath myself. Somebody what was in there? Uh, it's very difficult placing a ladder underneath myself. Oh my god. My house is surrounded. It is surrounded, I can see a zombie there. Thinking that it's hard enough to take on Softman, but that's not going to happen, fella. Spider here thinks he's hard enough as well. I think some rubber boots might be in order here. If I've got enough rubber and wool, I need to. I ain't got enough rubber. Uh, right. Oh, it's round here somewhere, it's there, look, it's just because I ain't got it on me. Right, now I'm done, oh no, give me them back, I don't want them in there. Now I'm done with them, I can put them back. I'm in, and you know, there's, there is two other obelisks very near to that one as well. So it's, it's going to be uh, very good. Oh, what am I doing? Could have easily have just done something there that I really should have done. Put that back. Put them back. Uh, I don't need anything else, I don't think. Some tinning dots. That should help me. That in there. I can't remember how much it's worth. 
or even if I've taught my table about it, I may not have taught it about it at all. It doesn't look like I have. Very interesting. So it looks like I'm going to need the uh, tree tap because you can teach your table about sticky resin. It looks like I haven't. I knew that was there, that's why I sprinted out. Cheers. Right. Just the one will do. Back inside now. Right. Yes, I never taught it. It's 24 EMC. Target that and get some sticky resin. 10 pieces is definitely enough there. Finish it off by getting a little bit of cobblestone. Certainly didn't need that amount of ladders anyway. Uh, right, there's a coal in there. I could have done it outside with my extractor, but uh, it is night time and really I just want to, to make myself six pieces of rubber. So I only need four. I also need one bit of wool. So let's go and get some wool because it looks like I haven't got any of that. I think it's only the one that I need, I could be wrong, but I'm sure it is. Wrong one. If memory serves me right, these are iron boots, uh, rubber boots. It's obviously not. Is that it? No. Have I got to actually make boots first? No. Something like that. I'm sure you have to have wool. Right, bear with me a sec. I don't know what you're doing. Right, let's go. Oh god, Kai! Right. Industrial craft wiki. I would be lost without this wiki, I've got to tell you. I would be horrendously lost without this. Tools. Is it tools or armour? I'm sure it is. Rubber boots. Oh, look at that. It is rubber and then the wool on the end. Did I try that? I'm sure I did. Rubber. Wool. Well. Did I try them two and then not the bottom one? What a clown. That helps with fall damage. It doesn't nullify fall damage, but it does help with it. I'll just put that in there for the minute. Put that in there, that in there, that in there. No. Definitely need a chest on me. These conduits, I don't want to lose them. Right, hang on a second, what time is it? 18 minutes, loads of time. Buckets of time going on here. Come on, fellas. That's uh, slowly draining away my vis. Oh my god! I actually jumped there. I didn't see it at all, I just ran out like an idiot. Thinking is hard enough! Oh, I actually, I think a bit actually popped out there. Bloody hell, fire. That scared the living daylights out of me. The sun's gone up anyway, so we should be a bit of a, uh, a bit better. I may find some bones about on my travels. The skeletons have been out. I know there's a couple around here, so hopefully. Find some bones now. I know there's something just died over there, so. Oh well. Right, rubber boots are in case I fall. Hopefully I won't, but they're in case I do. And uh, I think it's a good idea to have a full health bar before I go down there.
So there's that. It does look rather scary. Look at that. The reason why I needed so many ladders. Oh, bugger off. Ow. Right. We are within the belly of the beast. And it's going to be hard getting out of there. There we are. Just going to uh, ladder my way up so I don't have to do this later on. I can seem to climb on ladders sideways as well, which uh, I never thought possible, but never mind. Ah, well, ah, well. Can't even fall. I can't even fall off or anything. No matter how far I go back. Here, right. Within this are these things here. These contain artifacts, eldritch artifacts to be precise. So let's grab all this stuff here. Eldritch stones. Have I got my goggles on? Hmm. Okay, I've got no idea what that is on the top of there though. We grab everything and run. Look at all this stuff, all these goodies. I don't know what you would do with these eldritch stones. Maybe they're worth a little bit. Voy ingot. Look, what is this? What is it? Oh. Different pages. It must be like the uh, Thorncraft's, uh, Thorncraft's version of uh, like, oh, what is it? The Alchemical Chest. I mean, this has got numerous pages. Voiding, oh, look at all this stuff here. I could build a bloody Eldritch Stone house at this rate. That'd be fun. Let's take all this stuff here. Definitely. Look at all these artifacts here, I'll be laughing. I'll be bloody laughing. Does that mean I've got loads of pages of this as well? Oh yes. More void ingots. Probably infuse them with something, I'm sure. Ooh, look at that. An exceptional artifact there. And this is only one. I've got two others to go down yet. More Eldritch Stones, enough to last me a lifetime. And they must, yeah, they're just one page. So they're like, uh, them things on the top there are like extenders, you know, chest extenders. Very nice. Right, I've, I haven't forgotten anything, am I? I can hear lava around me, so I'm not going to go digging around. There must be something that you can use, a tool that you can use, surely, to get rid of this um, Eldritch Stones. Because what if I was to put one down and then that was it? You know, I can't move it again. Maybe they're worth a bit for researching. I don't know. No idea. But I know that I have some more ladders. Oh, plenty, plenty more ladders to go and have a look down this one. I haven't got my crystals on me, so I'm going to have to go back anyway. I'm probably going to stick some of them artifacts into uh, to try and learn something from, try and make some new discoveries, eldritch wise. And other than what I have, you know, read on the Thorncraft wiki, um, I, I haven't used this mod. I honestly haven't used this mod. I'm as new to it as as the next guy. I, I didn't use Thorncraft 1, I've got to tell you. 
I installed it, but I never used any of it. Thorncraft 2 just caught my eye, and uh, I love it. I mean, I absolutely love it. I love the way that this mod works. Oh, I just realised. stuff in here into my lovely little thing I've got going here. Uh, let me discover is up there as well. I don't want that there. Uh, all these other bits and bobs that I've picked up along the way I shall put in my crap chest. And that can go back in there. I won't need my backpacks just for the minute. I'm just trying to think what else I would need. I nearly used a full stack of ladders to get there. So where are them ladders that I created? Oh, I've been to all, didn't I? Clown. Right. Some more sticks here. Oh, that's going to get me far. Create some more, so because I've still got two others to go down, so I don't, you know, I don't want to have to come back and create more stuff all the time. I should be all right at this. Should be all right at that. Okay. Um, I've got seven rare artifacts there. So just to have a look here, let's have a look. Look at that. 100% success. Means I'm definitely going to get something from it. Three fragments of knowledge right there. Three fragments of eldritch knowledge. Just from these, what I've got from one artifact, from one monolith. Absolutely wonderful, brilliant. In that 68%, 75% loss rate, but uh, it's worth it. I got one down to 36% now, so um, well, I lost that one. But I've got six pieces of, uh, of um, eldritch knowledge now. Wonderful. Look at this. I've got a whole bunch of this stuff. Absolute whole bunch of it. Have I got no. What is that? A drop of darkness. Exceptional artifacts. Uncommon. I think the only thing that you can use artifacts for are researching, so I think it's a good idea. I don't want that going. But we're off. Right. So that's only 50% with all three of them in. So I've lost it, which is fair enough. It's okay. Nothing much to worry about. It is only an uncommon one, so seven pieces there. Now if I can get over 30 pieces of, of knowledge like what I did last time, I'm laughing. Because over 30 pieces of knowledge, and look how many discoveries I made from that, so I'm quite happy with what I got. Nothing from that, unfortunately. Oh, I've still got all this here, haven't I? Sorry, I'm trying to do this in my head. It didn't quite work. Yeah, right. Only a 25% success, but I mean that is a hell of a lot in terms of of knowledge. Um, right, I'm going to need some blocks for me to stand on when I get down there. So let's get that smooth stone that I created earlier. Mm. In fact, I think it's a good idea, instead of these rubber boots, 
to create these. And I don't know how to create them, so... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's leather boots and sort of other. Feather. Oh, I don't really know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Before night falls too much upon the world. I want to be able to make that monolith. In fact, that, that monolith there is probably the easiest one to get to. And I've forgotten the crystals again. Come on. Give me a break, man. And it is good that it uses both the, uh, the tainted crystals and, and, you know, them kind of crystals. So that uh, I've got something to use my tape crystals for. I've got two aqueous and three earthen crystals from that, so I'm happy. A little bit of these was spent there, so let's actually put some of them back. Uh, you can actually stack these in here, but I prefer not to. In fact, it's probably about time if I'm thinking right. Yeah, it is. It's time. Next episode, we'll be going into two more monoliths, finding some more stuff, and hopefully getting some eldritch discoveries along the way. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this, because I've loved this episode. I've absolutely loved this episode with what I've come out with. And finally, I've got myself into the, into the heart of the monolith statue. I had no idea what was there. Um, some chests with a, a whole load, of, a bucket load of eldritch knowledge. So I'm quite happy with that, definitely. So join me in the next episode where we're going to get expanding on that and hopefully I can start getting to uh, build an arcane bar, which is very interesting. <laughs>